feeling this intense, heavy energy. Like, I am so tired. Um, I could sleep all the time. Um, because a lot of us are so empathic, so sensitive that are we not feeling the energies around us but while we're sleeping? We're also um, exerting a lot of energy in an energetic sense, not a physical body sense. Um, and when we're sleeping, us light workers are our soul, our spirit is also fighting um, a war where we're being called to maybe different parallel universes or dimensions, um, being called to do healing or um, get downloads and schooling. And so it's a lot. So our when we come back down, when we wake up, our physical body needs a little bit more time and compassion and patience to, whew, okay, let's do today, you know? Um, <coughs> sorry. And... I'm also realizing that the more we feed into the control, the fear, the anger, um, the frustration with what's happening in this world, like this isn't about vax first unvax. That's not what that's not what life's about right now. Life is about a war um, with humanity. Like, what's our rights? How far are we going to go to stand up for our rights and? we are as human beings like this is about raising our consciousness the whole world is being reset um i know that's hard to imagine trust me i know but we all came back here for this reason either we're gonna keep doing the same things over and over again and not and just like let it happen or we're gonna listen to our soul and reflect like what do I need to do in order to bring balance to my life um and I was reading um Kryon K-R-Y-O-N channels is that right Chiron yeah Kryon channelings um if you don't know who that is you should really check it out there's I forget the author but I'll put it below. Um, this one is about the Akash. So the Akash is a energetic grid. It holds all energetic memory. It holds past, present, future. It is our soul books. It has the book of earth, the book of creation. Like it's everything is in this grid. All of our thoughts all of our beliefs, all of our practices, everything we do is in is in the, this grid. And one of my niches is to tap into the Akash. That's why I can do really quick and good past life readings. Now they come like seven at a time for one person. Like I can't, it's impossible for me to just do one past life now because the universe is downloading them so quick for me to deliver because our past lives hold gifts they hold an energy that we're missing in our current life that we need to remember and bring forth and empower us so we can move forward in this life. So if you're interested in a past life reading, hit me up. Like, I didn't realize, I just, just hit me up. Like, it's pretty, pretty beautiful and pretty crazy. Regression therapy is the same where I can help you tap into your past life. That's not the point of this video. That was just a little, whatever point of this video is one way to navigate the energies, the heaviness of the world, is to stand in your light. And I know that doesn't make a lot of sense to people, but to stand in our light is to honor our truth. It's to allow ourselves to feel the emotions, allow ourselves to rest, allow ourselves to do what brings us joy. Instead of being, instead of sitting there and being brainwashed by what's on social media, on the news, and what I be, what I mean by being brainwashed is allowing fear and allowing what everybody else in this world is saying 
affect you as a human being. Affect your decisions. Affect the love that you have for yourself and other human beings. That's what I mean by being brainwashed. It's like... Um, when there's more out there that is causing separation and hate between people, that's not states of love. So I was reading in the Cryon channelings that um, someone asked the person who was channeling, how can we pull the energy from our Nate, which is our higher self or I am presence, how can we pull all of the energy of who we've ever been that joy of whoever we've been how can we pull that down and honor it to deal with the energies that are around and he said well the channeler said specifically like you need to stand in your light you no matter how much heaviness is around you and darkness um you have to you have to be that light bulb so if you have a lamp right you pull that switch on that lamp in a dark room, that lamp will light up the room in some way, right? And I thought of it as those energy-saving light bulbs. Like, you're turning them on, you're like, all right, hurry up, like, it's still dark in here, right? But that's kind of what light workers are. When we are tapping into our true light, when we're tapping into the fact that we are the ones that raise consciousness, that we are the ones that deliver healing and light and empowerment to humanity rather than hate, fear, shame, separation, despair. It takes us a while to realize that light inside of us. And then when we turn the light on, it just like, it, it doesn't get dimmer. It gets brighter and brighter and brighter. And every once in a while, someone tries to shut off our light, right? Someone tries to say, what are you doing? Someone tries to um, say we're crazy people, a lot of people call me um, naive. A lot of people, especially in my family, unfortunately, think I don't know what I'm talking about. They think I'm a conspiracy theorist. They don't believe that I talk to spirit, even though like they know that I talk to spirit and that I've brought them spirit. And it's just, and it's okay. It's part of their conditioned mindset because they, they're not ready to see things that see the bigger picture of things right and that's fine but sometimes it it dims my light but I remember that I'm like that solar power light I just get brighter and brighter and brighter now I don't let people bring me down it it makes me want to stand even more in my truth because when you are that one lamp in a room of lower consciousness or or darker light or um, you're that light in that room of fear you're that light in that room of um, I don't know if I want to tap into that yet you are that light bulb you stand in your truth and you do it out of love your light sheds on to other people and it aggravates their energy at first but it it's a beautiful aggravation if that makes sense because your light can withstand any darkness any lower energy any hate any anger any shame when you can stand in your truth and be that tall erect lamp and just spread your light out onto everybody because when you spread your light out and you allow yourself to be that lamp the universe delivers and protects you and sends that light down through you and around you and energy is everything so if I just keep sending love and light to people just despite how they feel about me despite how they want to perceive what's happening in the world it's changing things it's it's bringing it's bringing light and subtle ease to their energy systems without them even knowing it because you know what you don't need anyone's approval in life you don't need anyone to be like yeah I really felt that you did that to me you don't need that 
because if you once you stand into your light and you trust what the universe is giving you and you trust your light and you know that you're coming from the heart then like that's all that matters because love is going to conquer everything that's happening so that being said the heaviness that's happening in this world right now we could get angry about like what's happening in Texas what's happening with the hurricanes what's happening in Afghanistan what's happening in Australia what's happening in Italy what's happening in our country what's happening in New York yada 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 everywhere is having pain everywhere every person is experiencing some shift some feeling of uneasiness sickness pain in everyone okay so we need to instead of like all oh, that like instead of being pissed and angry and like I do this too like I get angry when people are not seeing what I'm seeing but it's like because they're they're not ready to see it so all I can do is call on the higher forces the angels the light workers the warriors up there in heaven and the, all the light beings that we can't physically see that are here right now you watching this you're probably one of them you stand in your light and you send love out you send light you ask the angels to bring ease and peace to those areas where there's despair to those areas where there's destruction and you you empower people by your own light by you just standing in your truth and showing love and being that lamp don't let anyone shut your lamp off Don't let anyone have the switch to your lamp. So I got this tattoo. Now you can't see it's backwards, but it's strength with a key. I got it when I was 18. And I don't know if it was preparation for this, but I always knew that I needed to have some form of inner strength. I knew that physical strength was very important, but inner strength was was domination in a sense. Was So I got the tattoo because I knew that no one could hold the key to my future, my success, my happiness, who I am as a person other than myself. I knew that I needed to find my own strength to survive in this world. I'm realizing that my own strength is protected, guided, and upheld by all of the beautiful frequencies of God and Creator and angels and the light beings. My higher self and all of who I've ever been in every life is my strength. The people in my life right now, whether they understand me or not, they're part of my strength. But I, in order to see that, I needed to feel my strength myself. I needed to find my light. I needed to be my own solar panel. I needed to connect with the sun and the moon and the earth to connect back to myself. And I found myself. And I love myself. So that's why I feel so powered by helping others love themselves and find themselves. Don't let anyone take your key. Don't let anyone shut off your lamp. Okay? If, you're ki if you have kids that are struggling, be that lamp. Instead of like telling them what to do, how to act, blah, 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 blah. Let them honor their truth. Stand in that light and send them light. Send them healing. Don't send them worry. Send them light. Center yourselves. Imagine a green ball of light in the center of your chest. Breathe into it, bringing life force into that green ball and send that green ball out. Or whatever color you want. Like, I don't, it doesn't matter. It's about intention of sending light from your heart to, to the struggles around. 
So, the days that I don't want to get out of bed because it's just like I can feel the heaviness in the world, I ask God and angels and my higher self and Mother Mary and Lord Sananda and the earth to just come up through me and down through me and allow me to be that light. Allow me to get up and walk through the darkness of the world right now. Because at the end of the day, your light is your consciousness. Your light is your truth. No one can take your consciousness. And you living in fear and worry and despair and anger, that's allowing other people to have hold of your light. That's like allowing someone to throw a dark, dark, dark out, a light out, dark curtain, (laughs) you know what I'm trying to say, over your lamp so people can't see it. Lift, just lift that curtain up a little bit. Go, peekaboo, I'm light. You can't stop me. So, I love you. Remember your thoughts. Pay attention to your thoughts. Are they good? Are they bad? Do they send you love? Do they send other people love? Or do they send worry, fear, anger, and hate? Are you allowing the energies around you to suck you dry and make you angry? Or are you allowing yourself to feel every emotion and then let it go? Don't hold on to the energies around you. What you can control is yourself, your energy, your love, your self-compassion. What you can control is the love that you send out or the hate and anger that you send out. Let's love be the one that prevails, okay? Because at the end of the day, the light always wins. It's just a little bit harder right now because energy is shifting humanity and shifting the earth. We are being reset to wake up, to wake up to love, to wake up to realize the broken system of the government and of the world right now. We are being woken up to shift into a state of higher consciousness to bring forth truth, to bring forth love, to not be controlled by money and allowing the rich to get richer and the poorer get poorer. We Suicide is at its highest right now. Depression is at its highest right now. Why do you think? Because the energy is so freaking heavy. There's not a lot, there's not enough love being sent out. Send the love. Send it. Even if you don't know how, ask the angels. Don't be afraid to ask the angels. Who's judging you other than yourself? Don't judge yourself. You are love and you are magic. Believe in that. And you can think I'm a crazy person, that's fine. I love you anyways. But I'm sending you all love. I'm sending you all green light from my heart. So just take a moment of silence today and express your gratitude for life, for air, and hug your loved ones. Tell them you love them. I love you. Send the light. Keep that switch bright.